after practice? Well, the bananas and the milk after practice is, you know, we, we hold these kids accountable as far as being able to do their homework. So staying hydrated, keeping the nutrition, the proper nutrition in their body, and resting. So we want to do our part in making sure we're giving these kids the proper nutrients as soon as they're done with the workout to help put back everything they lost within their workout. So, uh, okay, this is a question I always have. Okay, you're still to get this for, for high school kids. When they're home, who knows what they're eating, right? Exactly. So how do you, so how do you try to combat or try to balance out the two between well, getting them to grow and perform? Well, the reason we do that is because, like you said, we don't know what they go home and they eat. Right. So we want to lead by example and make sure that they know at least the proper stuff of, of nutrition. So that's why we give them a banana. That's why we give them chocolate milk. So at least they have an idea of what to put in their body. Because we tell them like all the time, their body's a car. What do you want to drive? A Honda Civic or Ferrari. So you got to put in the proper fuel in order to operate at a high level. So that's why we want to do it like that. You know, lead by example. And then that way they have at least some type of knowledge to take home on the weekends and, and, and stuff when they're at home. How you gain control of, that was what, maybe 50, 60 teenage kids? Yeah. What are the main three things to keep control of uh, those kids in an atmosphere like this? So, first things first is iron sharpens iron. So, we, we like to create a competitive atmosphere because at the end of the day, okay. we, we, we have an iron sharpens iron type of mentality because at the end of the day, we want to compete. Um, and when you compete, you bring out the best in one another. So, we keep a competitive atmosphere. All right? we we're a very disciplined team. So, if... You know, this this football comes down to a game of inches. So if they ain't touching the line, if they ain't paying attention to the proper, you know, rules and regulations to be set, we, we keep them, we hold them accountable to that. So that's really how we get these guys in line and keep them going. Okay, well, I have fun here, man. I've never seen a weight room like this in high school. I oh, haven't definitely. seen it. Definitely. <laughs> One of the select few in South Florida, you know, that's why it's called the, the, the Iron Temple. Uh, we mow men in here, uh, and no matter what sport it is, it, it all starts in the weight room. So I'm mm-hmm. a believer in that, and that's where we go. Football real victor. Columbus yes, High. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Football, that's Columbus, man. We signing out. We signing out.